Hey everyone, Matt here with Telescopes Canada. Today we're taking a look at the ZWO camera angle rotator, the long awaited and highly anticipated product from ZWO. This thing has been in the works for years and has become somewhat of a myth. People were wondering if it was ever actually going to arrive, but I can assure you it's real. I have one here with me today. It's really well constructed. It's made of really nice machined aluminum. It weighs less than a pound and it holds up to five kilograms of imaging equipment. So it's very sturdy and robust. It's designed at just 16.5 millimeters in thickness, which perfectly replaces the 16.5 millimeter spacer that ZWO sends with all of their cameras, making sure you achieve that perfect 55 millimeters back focus. Out of the box, it's designed to work with an M54 connection on both the camera side and the telescope side. ZWO does provide an adapter. It's a plate that you can change the M54 on the camera side to M48. Additionally, if you want to bring the telescope side down to M48, you will have to purchase an additional adapter from ZWO. ZWO plans to release additional adapters that will fit several different connections, various scopes and setups, but out of the box with M54 and M48, it covers a wide range of products. It's powered and operated by a single USB-C cable. It also has a hand control port, which uses the existing CAF hand controller from ZWO. Now let's take a look at how we connect the CAA to my SpaceCat 51. I'm using the ASI 533 MC Pro here, which has a 16.5 mil adapter and a 21 millimeter length adapter. So theoretically, I should be able to just remove the 16.5 mil adapter and replace it with the CAA. However, while recording this video, I realized that the 16.5 mil adapter steps down from M48 to M42. So we're left with a situation where we can't directly connect this to the CAA. I reached out to ZWO and they confirmed that an M42 plate is on the way. Uh, this seems like a bit of an oversight at launch. I feel like one of these should have been included from the get-go as ZWO carries a lot of cameras with an M42 connection. In the meantime, the best solution that we could come up with is to use the ZWO M42 filter drawer. This has an M48 connection on this side, so you can put that towards the CAA. And then this has an M42 connection on this side, which you can now attach your camera to. Unfortunately, you will have to purchase this separately, so there is a bit of an added expense there until ZWO comes up with a solution stepping down from M48 to M42. I'm using an ASI 533, which has a small sensor, so using the M48 adapter will be more than sufficient. Okay, so first things first, let's remove the M54 plate on the CAA and replace it with the provided M48 plate. We just set those screws aside. Okay, so now we can take this camera off here and we will start to attach the CAA. ZWO makes an adapter to step from M48 up to M54 to attach the CAA to the telescope side of your setup. This adapter, unfortunately, is also an additional purchase. It is not included in the box. Hopefully, ZWO will do that in the future. So we'll thread that on here. So that's just bringing this from M48 up to M54 without adding any additional back focus. In the future, I would hope that ZWO would just include this M54 to M48 step down ring in the box with the CAA. It seems like a weird omission to me. At this point, we can screw the camera angle adjuster onto the scope. Just be sure not to over tighten it, just, just hand tighten so that it doesn't loosen off is good enough. So now we can thread on our solution of the M42 filter drawer, which has the M48 threads on the camera angle rotator side. So we'll thread that on as well. Just hand tight again, do not over tighten it. Okay, so now we're ready to attach the camera. We have to remove 
the 16.5 and 21 mil adapters that come with the camera. And then we can thread that directly onto the filter drawer, which has M42 threads. So now that the camera's connected, let's just quickly go over our connections here. So we have 17.5 millimeters here. That's what the camera inherently takes up. Then we have 21 millimeters for the filter drawer. And then the camera angle adjuster takes up 16.5 millimeters for a total of 55 millimeters back focus, which is the standard back focus requirement for many astrophotography setups. So if you're not happy with the orientation of your camera angle adjuster, most scopes come with a, a means of rotating the back part of the scope here. So I'm just gonna unlock this here and I can quickly rotate this to be wherever I would like it. So up, down, this seems to be good for this scope. Effectively, you're rotating the rotator. So once that's all set, all we need to do is plug in the USB-C cable to whatever image acquisition software you're using. It could be the ASI Air, like in this case, uh, or a PC running Nina, or even a hub. Once you've got that connected, you're all ready to go. These are currently shipping from ZWO slowly but surely, and they are available on our website, telescopescanada.ca, to order now. We have a ton of them on order with ZWO. Just be sure to get your order in now to reserve yours. As always, our dedicated support specialists are here to support you with any of your questions regarding the CAA or any other astronomy products that we carry. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.